Welcome to the spoken tutorial on programming open PLC. In this tutorial, we will learn how to program the open PLC mainboard. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, open PLC mainboard, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS. USB ASP programmer. To follow this tutorial, you should know how to generate hex file of a ladder diagram in LD Micro. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Now, we will see how to upload a program to Open PLC Mainboard. We will use the sample.hex file which was created earlier. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. We are using a USB ASP to program our main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown here. Recall that we have explained these connections in the earlier tutorials. Turn on the power supply. Make sure that one of the LEDs on USB ASP is glowing. This indicates that the programmer is connected properly. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. If you are a Windows user, open command prompt. Type cd space desktop backslash ld micro and press enter. I have saved a file sample.hex in the above folder. Go to the location where you have saved the hex file. Now. Type the command as shown. For uploading the program, we are using a command line tool, avrdude. Hyphen C indicates the programmer ID of the programmer. Since we are using an USB ASP programmer, here the ID is given as USB ASP. Hyphen P indicates the part number of the microcontroller that we are using. In our case, it is at Mega 16. So, we have specified it as M16. Hyphen capital U handles all memory read and write operations. Flash indicates the flash memory and W indicates the write operations. Sample.hex is the file that we want to upload. Press enter. We can see another LED on the USB ASP is blinking. This indicates that it is communicating with the main board appropriately. In the terminal, we get AVR dot 364 bytes of flash verified. Note that the number of bytes varies from program to program. If you don't get either of the indications, it means that programming isn't done properly. Refer to the additional reading material of this tutorial to know more about precautions that should be taken before programming ways to troubleshoot when the main board is not programmed properly. Let us see various part numbers for different controllers and programmers. Go to the given link. In this tutorial, we have used at Mega 16. We can observe that the part ID is M16 according to the list. The part ID of USB ASP programmer as USB ASP. You can refer to this manual if you are using a different microcontroller or programmer. It also contains the information of the command line options to control AVR dude behavior. This brings us to the end of this tutorial.
let us summarize in this tutorial we learn to program the open plc main board the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates on passing online tests for more details please write to us please post your timed query in this forum do you have any general or technical questions on open plc please visit the fossi forum and post your question spoken tutorial project is funded by mhrd government of india this tutorial has been contributed by fossi and spoken tutorial project iit bombay and this is harsha priyanka from fossi team signing off thanks for watching